Ragnarok has got to defend this cannon rush really well because the standings are so close. Oh, I love parting so much from all of my heart. I have Grim Reaper mods and probably Grimmy himself watching this. Yes, we are going to have a cannon rush. This has not been seen created. Now it has, but there it's it very, very late. The scout here actually by our... Um, Zerg player, he he uh, didn't see it before, and now that's going to make it very difficult. The cannon already walled off. Incredible placement here is most likely going to force a cancel uh, on this hatchery, and it's going to be up to um, our, our, our Zerg player to react accordingly now, because this is already a great start. And the gas steal! Parting, I love you. Yeah, Parting doing everything right here. Of course, this is a really nice placement on Pillars of Gold. This map offers this unique little niche in between the natural here where we will see the uh, gateway, pardon me, the forward gateway walling off that photon cannon as if there's any pressure. And yeah, of course, Ragnarok's going to be forced to cancel that natural and move over to his third base. But Grant, uh, wait, wait a minute. That's interesting. Wait a minute, Grant. Where's, where's this little fella going? I honestly don't know the answer to that question, Creighton. This he's going is... up to the face. He's going up to the face base in the top left-hand side, Grant. I, I think we're going to see a double expand from Ragnarok. This yep. is not that good though, because Parting is committing in the natural. Parting still has a probe down there, right? He could throw down a proxy yeah. Robo as soon as this, um, as soon as his cyber core is done, and and that's going to be so difficult here for our Zerg player to deal with. Parting has the power of recalls, the power of cannons and shield batteries. Defending will be easier for him. Parting is also scouting a lot of positions here. He now sees neither of these bases are taken, but he's also seeing the main and seeing there's not that many lings, there's no roach warren. So his, he's he's going to be, you know, there's question marks above Parting's head right now. Spine crawler goes down. That's completely fine here. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a proxy robo coming down from Parting and not too long. Really interesting from Ragnarok here, hiding both of his other bases because right normally what the response is is of course Roach Warren into Ravagers to break open this contained right, and normally you see Roaches and Ravagers used to do this. So obviously Parting is probably thinking right now, okay, the Roach Warren is down here in the south side of the base. I just haven't seen it yet. He isn't expanding. He's on one base right now. So all I have to do is contain Ragnarok. Is is faking this very well? Oh, I think he's a little nervous also, but he's getting these three spine crawlers, plenty of slow links, link speed halfway done, moving the spine crawlers forward. Even Zealot. more aggressive. Nice catch on the Zealot on the ramp there. But these with these three bases, Ragnarok will be able to macro his way out of this, even if Parting puts on a lot of pressure, which right now, the pressure from Parting, pretty mild, Grant. Yeah, no proxy robo here. Parting hasn't really done anything at home. I think he is getting uh, an extra cannon at home, possibly. It's hard for me to tell right now. Yeah, he's sitting very far back. He's uh, getting a second gateway at home. Looks like Parting is going to get a Twilight Council. He's going to hide it, though. Uh, and he's going to go yeah. most likely into a dark shrine here, I imagine, which I think could be super fun. It could be something else. It's very hard to tell with Parting. I, I hate making predictions against a player this crazy. Um, but uh, Parting's doing a good job. I like what he's doing. I like the idea that, uh, to hide that Twilight Council from the Overlord. The Overlord is going to swing up to the north side here and may get a good scout, actually, if it does dive into that uh, into that main base of Parting, which is by far the, the most logical move here. But when you're playing against Parting, logic kind of goes out the window. <laughs> it's funny, Grant, you and I have seen tens of thousands of StarCraft matches, and it's always interesting when something like this happens where you're like, man, this is something we see, you know, once in a blue moon. It's like a whole new game, uh, which is one of the reasons that we all love the StarCraft community so, so much. There's Blink starting up from Parting, okay. who wants to get some Blink shenanigans going on, which is a little bit unorthodox, but that will be spotted. And of course, with the additional gas is taken here from, or with the additional gas that's still being mined from Ragnarok, he's going to spin that into a Nidus network. That Nidus worm, by the way, is hidden behind his main base. And that'll allow not only if he wants to get some aggression on the parting side, but Grant, if he just wants to lose this base, get his drones out of there yeah. and transfer them up to the third base or something, he's more than welcome because look, he's now mining for these other two bases. This is a three base Zerg against a one base Protoss player and parting has no earthly idea, Grant. He's not scouting anymore. There's the Nidus in his main. Yeah, Nidus in the main for parting, probably gonna force a recall. I actually, is there even anything in the Nidus, Creighton? Uh, no. Not right now. There we okay, go. Some now links getting loaded some up stuff now. In. Yeah, uh, this could have... Uh, there was a possibility that this was even just a fake. Uh, Parting could be able to pick off a little bit here, but he doesn't have too much. That being said, he does have a good amount of cannons at home. He has a shield battery in range to uh, hit an overcharge on both. It's going to be difficult to break this position. Parting, okay. He now he, uh, knows that there's a second Nidus, right? Um, yes. And what that means is he's going to be thinking, well, where is it? 
Uh, and it may give us some indication that this is a very wonky game. Parting is probably going to win in the main very, very shortly. He's just waiting for probably the last warp in, and then he will go. As I say, probably 11 times. No one really knows. There's no certainty in this, this matchup. Um, this just seems like a bit of feigned pressure from Ragnarok, trying to yeah. trick Parting into a recall or something. Parting not going to take the bait, though. If I was Parting, my guess is that the Nidus Worm is, is, in my, is in my natural, right? That's the normal place yeah. that you would send it. Get some roaches, some ravagers, put them out of the front and start raining corrosive bios down on the front. It's important to note that Roach Worm not finished from Ragnarok, though, Grant. And now Parting in the main sees the Nidus Worm and can cancel the Nidus Worm. But now that he sees the drones evacuate, he yeah. must know, he knows, wait a minute, you're evacuating drones through the Nidus. They're not coming into my main base. You wouldn't want to lose them in the middle of that world. Worm, where the hell is everything this game? And there it yeah. is. Yeah, so Roach Warren is done, and we're gonna see four roaches instantly on the way. Spawning pool has to re be rebuilt to provide those lings to be the buffer. We see an inject going in on the space, a little ambitious here from uh, <laughs> Ragnarok, who is going to lose his main, which is also his lair. So Ragnarok's tech has been nuked back to the Stone Age, as if he was playing against Gandhi and civilization. Um, yes. But, uh, uh, he's still got the element of surprise most definitely against his opponent. Parting still doesn't really know what's going on in this game. He's now cleared out the main and Ragnarok is just expanding towards his opponent. He has taken Ragnarok's third base or possible third base. Parting finally sees this base and that will annoy him. He sees the roaches as well. Parting actually does have a very good amount of stalkers here with Blink. And we've seen Parting's Blink micro in, in dire situations carry him to victories. So uh, I, I really don't hate this for Parting. He's killing a lot of overlords too. Yeah, this is fun for Ragnarok, but now that Parting has broken the main, it suddenly becomes a game of whack-a-mole, and Ragnarok hugely supply block now. That's going to really suck for him, because he only has eight roaches on the map oh, right nice. now, Grant. And Parting is going to go on a tear. He's just going to cycle around the map, finding base after base, and destroying base after base as well. Uh, he's not even going to lose bother losing that base. He's just going to go find where Ragnarok is and try and take him out. Ragnarok knows he can't win this whack <laughs> He snuck a probe up into the main base. I think he was thinking maybe about a pylon up on the high ground here. But of course, the Overlord from Ragnarok just barely saw that probe darting around. This is why these players are so damn good, Grant. The Overlord saw the probe from parting in a very weird sort of position here, up where the Reaper jump up cliff is in Romanticide. And just that odd movement was enough for Ragnarok to say, wait a minute, something strange is happening here. Uh, and what it is ain't exactly clear. And so he dropped, brought the drone down to the south side to try and deal with this, but Parting is cannon rushing yet again. This time, a bit of a different flavor though, as he's got the pylon up on the high ground. This is the correct spot to cannon rush in Romanticide. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you can control the high ground here, it's gonna be pretty good. He wants to stop drone transfers from going through and, and, and force Ragnarok to uh, have to play a slightly slower game where he can't saturate his natural as quick as he'd like. We also see a proxy gateway here from Parting, but there is a rope for him very, very quickly. Triple gases as well here for uh, Ragnarok. A triple worker's in gas even as he takes a second gas. So most likely we're going to see Ravagers to try and break this. Uh, it's going to be interesting. There's a good amount of workers made it to the natural, but Parting is going to 100% control this ramp uh, for the foreseeable future. We see a few lanes. Parting trying to bait with his... Oh, Nice. Ooh, nice. Uh, with his uh, worker, but uh, this is like ridiculously aggressive for a cannon rush here from Party. Yeah, he's 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 leaving it all in the field here for sure, Grant. Of course, the Ravager follow up is a much more traditional uh, counter to the Roach push, especially here on Romanticide, where the where the main bases are so large. They're, they've got so much just real estate in the main base. Those Ravagers give you a lot more control with the Corrosive Biles. So we'll see exactly what happens here. Nice block, though, by this Stalker Parting, being very risky, taking a bit of extra pressure off of that Queen just to save that Shield Battery. The Shield Battery will finish up and not get canceled. Another big win for Parting here, who's beginning to encroach in Ragnarok space quite a bit. First Ravagers yeah. on the way might change things up. Yeah, the, the links are still out on the map and they're chasing around down at the natural right now. But if they commit, and this is a very early committal, I'm not so certain about here for uh, Ragnarok. He really does not want to take this fight. He loses those links, which would have given him the possibility of a very small flank here. One of those um, uh, Ravagers is very, very low as well. And if that gets taken out, it becomes scary, very scary. It does go down to a cannon shot even. Bit of a mistake. You see a bio come down on the cannon. The cannon doesn't give a shit as it does have the batteries behind it. And now there's four stalkers and that spine crawler getting low. Parting is a cannon rusher. Parting is a piece of shit. And Parting wins the series 2-0. You know, a stalker fight about mm -hmm. to happen. So <laughs> we're good there. Third base down for Rogue at uh, around the 245 mark. Pretty early third base. And Grant, it's our old friend Voidy Boy coming back here in game three. My, my question in this game is what is Parting going to do? Because Rogue 
stopped making drones, Creighton. He has 16 lings. His speed is very close to completion. He is getting his third hatchery, but he did not make drones for a long time. This is a bunch of lings, and Parting has a zealot, an adept, and now a void rate to deal with this. Yeah, this is looking good for Parting. I'm a little surprised here. Once he sees these lings, I imagine a shield battery should be the first order of the day. We're going to see the drone drill through here as the drones get on the backside, but the probe has been pulled from Lee, from uh, from, par from Parting already. Here's what he's got to do. Rogue wants to get these drones in position, but well. if he does break through, Parting can't build anything behind that. But the drones are taken care of by the probes immediately, and this is a great hold so far from Parting, whose Void Ray and Adept are taking care of this. GG! Where is so easy? 